Well, as part of the recent call, Ubisoft CEO has now confirmed that Assassin's Creed Shadows delay is actually costing the company 20 million euros extra on top of an already quite high budget. So they must have calculated somehow that whatever they're doing in their delay, it will then generate, I don't know, a profit off the back end of it. Interesting times, really. So for those that don't know, Assassin's Creed Shadow is just a complete joke of a game, as most games are in this day and age, unless it's an indie game. Like, this era of gaming is just absurd. The amount of sort of real-life political nonsense and socialized agendas that are being thrown in is just it's it's just nonsense it's absurd uh, it's ludicrous to, to think that people want to buy a game and basically just be lectured on everything gaming is supposed to be an you know an escape this is far from an escape uh, and yeah assassin's creed shadows is part of that it has a revisionist history of feudal japan paints yasuke as a big black samurai that's going around, hacking people up. Uh, yeah, couldn't be further from the truth, to be honest, but never mind. So let's take a look, right? Uh, this article is linked down below. But Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot confirmed that the company is spending an additional 20 million euros on Assassin's Creed Shadows by delaying the game to February. Which is quite bold, to be honest. That's really, really bold. So Ubisoft announced back in September that it would be delaying the game to February 14th and it wrote in a press release, Assassin's Creed Shadows will now be released on 14th of February 2025. That was also after, by the way, they pulled out of the Tokyo Game Show like the night before. I wonder why they did that. Uh, so as for why the company, uh, they explained the following. While the game is feature complete, the learnings from the Star Wars Outlaws release led us to provide additional time to further polish the title. Which, now we know actually they've done four updates, or they're about to do their fourth update for Star Wars Outlaws. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if if Assassin's Creed Shadows was as fundamentally broken as Star Wars Outlaws, yeah, you probably shouldn't be releasing it. This will enable the biggest entry in the franchise to fully deliver on its ambition, notably by fulfilling the promise of our dual protagonist adventure with Neo and Yasuke. Bringing two very different gameplay styles. How is what a weird word in this was by fulfilling the promise of our dual protagonist adventure. So, are you trying to say that you didn't actually have that locked in? So you had to delay it. So you you promised a dual protagonist adventure, but you didn't actually have that done. That's a weird thing to say, isn't it? If that's not the case, uh, we're departing from the traditional season pass model. All players will be able to enjoy the game at the same time on February fourteenth, and those who pre-order the game will be granted the first expansion for free. The game will mark the return of our new releases on Steam Day 1. Hmm. And that, th that this will be the, the real tell-all. We'll be able to figure out whether it is just, you know, falling apart or not. So there was an official post uh, on company's X account. Mark Alexis Cote uh, elaborated and said, Assassin's Creed Shadows is a dream project for us, finally bringing the series to feudal Japan with many features developed with our community in mind, such as parkour or renewed stealth, Brought by new technology, all set in a beautiful and immersive world. This is an ambitious addition to the franchise, a rich experience that can be lived through the eyes of two unique protagonists. But we realise we need more time to polish and refine the experience, pushing further some of our key features. All right then. Uh, and you know, said a little bit further as well, as such, we've made the decision to postpone the release date to February 14th. Uh, it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? It is, isn't it? My God. Not going to be a good Valentine's for uh, Assassin's Creed. So the game will release on a broad range of platforms, including Steam at launch. Additionally, pre-orders will be refunded, and all pre-orders will be granted the first expansion for free. I mean, they've really risked quite a big thing there by refunding all pre-orders at the moment. Um, but anyway, so basic, flash forward to now. First half, 24-25 earnings call happened, and the CEO, Gilmo was asked by a BMO investor, quote, on Assassin's Creed Shadows, you guys said you delayed the game. You keep saying it was feature ready. So I am curious, when you went through and looked back at the game, were you guys finding bugs? Looking back, were you glad you moved it? And I think you talked about an extra 20 million euros in development costs from doing this. How is that tracking? 
So what did they say in reply? On Assassin's Creed Shadows, what we had said was that on the back of what we saw with Outlaws, we need to really make sure that we come with an impeccable player experience. Of course, there are always some bugs, are there? But we've been focusing and continuing, continue focusing on making sure that the day one experience will be well optimised. And yes, you're right, we had mentioned that would translate into about 20 million euros in the total budget as we've kept a strong level of resources on this last phase of development and polishing. Uh, I mean, I mean, the question's right. It did say it was feature ready. Like they did actually say that. Like we, 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 we've heard that. That's quite crazy, to be honest. Uh, Gilmo's confirmation that delaying the game to February would cost an extra 20 million euros appears to lend credence to uh, the fact that the company is not just doing bug fixing and polishing, but could also be making significant changes to the characters and the game's story, which I reckon is probably what's happening. So Tom Henderson at Insider Gaming claimed that polishing the game, quote, includes changing some of Yasuke's story and how he's portrayed in the game. What, probably not hacking Japanese people up, maybe? Fixing ar architectural details. Yeah, that's right, because I got that wrong. Uh, and ensuring that the game is historically grounded while fitting into the Assassin's Creed universe. Amazing. Henderson also said that the game is currently not at the stage it needs to be for release. Uh, and he was told that there have been some tweaks to some gameplay mechanics and elements that are going to take time to incorporate. Amazing. Amazing. So not only did he reveal these changes, but he also shared that Ubisoft was not as dedicated to historical accuracy as multiple developers have claimed. Henderson said that historical experts were brought onto the project much later than usual for a project of this magnitude and that miscommunication between teams and cutting corners when it came to the approval process of assets to meet deadlines resulted in, quote, many of the historical and cultural concerns that have been raised by gamers. Incredible. I also indicate that Ubisoft management has ignored their own developers who have been calling for a delay, and yet they delayed it anyway. Seven developers working on the project said that they had been pushing for a delay for some time and their situation had been very had been heard at every, uh, uh, the studios in the company. Um, but yeah, they were just like, nah, mate. We ain't doing it, son. Crazy. Uh, apparently, they're going to be removing dialogue from the game. So, that's one of the changes, allegedly. So, that'll be fun. That'll be interesting. One of the people that worked on this game, by the way... Uh, one, of the, one of the historians has studied transgenerational homosexuality. And what they mean by that is uh, gay pedos. Just, just throwing it out there. That's what the historian that um, yeah, worked on this game uh, has studied and done papers on, amazingly. Like, cool. I guess that's what you're into. Not quite sure what's got to do with Japan, but all right then. Anyway, or Japanese feudal, you know, feudal Japan games, but whatever. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye now.